Just a few feet away from where Jonathan Rodriguez lived, his friends have taken over the gazebo, making it their safe space where they come and honor him. Today's findings are just that much more difficult, filled with grief, as the report claims his death was preventable. Each flicker of flame echoes the fleeting moments of a life cut tragically short. A young man who was uh, on the cusp of his adulthood and on, on, on a life of, of great promise. 21-year-old Jonathan Rodriguez from DuPont is a victim of the silent killer, carbon monoxide. He died December 2023, but his flame is now casting a soft glow against the walls of Evergreen State College's student housing where he lived. Well, the bottom line is uh, this is a, a tragic uh, loss of life and, and it wasn't uh, it wasn't necessary. It, it was it was preventable. An undeniable fact is Washington State Police have wrapped up their three month investigation into the carbon monoxide poisoning that killed Jonathan and hospitalized two other students. They were still on campus for final exams. There's only a, a few students left in there. Uh, and so it could have been a, a significantly greater tragedy. The problems started December 4th. According to Washington State Patrol, a new tankless water heater was installed in this student living home by an outside contractor, but it was installed incorrectly. Instead of being vented out, carbon monoxide was being redirected back into the home. Over time, the, the level of carbon monoxide in the utility room seeped through the walls, uh, and so it started to be uh, to contaminate the, the residential area. A week later, carbon monoxide alarms started going off at 5.41 a.m. A resident called College Dispatch, who called maintenance, but got their voicemail. At 6.17, the resident called Dispatch again. Again, maintenance picked up. They headed over and found students outside. They heard the alarms, so they called their supervisor. So the maintenance crew came out with the mistaken assumption that this was a faulty alarm, and uh, they worked on the alarms rather than uh, making sure that, you know, finding the leak in the first place. At 6.30 a.m., the students went back in. Just after 8, the alarm panel is silenced. This goes on all morning long. It's not until 8, 10 p.m. that maintenance discovered two people weren't breathing and called for help. An officer knocked down the door. He, too, was affected by the levels of carbon monoxide and had to be hospitalized. The investigating engineering firm said concentration levels were greater than 1,000 ppm in one of the bedrooms. They say after 20 minutes of exposure to levels of 800 or higher, you can start to feel dizzy, nauseous, and are at risk of dying within an hour. Bottom line, WSP says there was a lack of training and or understanding of the functions of the fire alarm arm CO systems by TESC employees and residents maintenance personnel. If, if, if the alarm is faulty and if it was somebody, if it should have never gone off, it was a, if it was a battery or somebody cooking something or, or just some sort of false reading and it's inconvenient and you have to go stand in the cold or the rain, that's a, a much better outcome than than losing a, a 21 year old man. WSP says that they've shared their findings with the Evergreen College as well as the Thurston County Prosecutor's Office who will then review the situation. It's up to them if there's any criminal liability here. In Thurston County, Alejandro Usman, Fox 13 News.